See that? An Umbro antenna. So we'll pick it up shortly from Colorado with this. See all this stuff? That's how you hook up the thing like that. You hook up like this. Right there, where the wires are hooking that. Keep the cameras away from it. That was a truck car went by. But we're actually looking at one now. Pretty good. We can actually hear Fort Collins. WVV. That's a new thing flying above us. But it definitely will pick up everything. I'm going to look it up there and hold it up like that, see? They're pointing like a satellite direction. But these metal things are reflecting the antennas. That's how I did the satellite thing back a few months ago. Last year with the weather satellite one I did, this was one of the antennas on the roof I have. This is not the same one, but I bought this at a Goodwill store for 90 cents. And long it's metal, long as it's this kind of metal and it's metal, it'll work. This is your pulse where it holds the ground. This wire hits here and when it connects to these, and that's how that works. It'll hit all these metal things in the rod in here you can see. That's how they do it. We're picking up 800 miles away, but... It could be good for shortwave radio too. That's the airplane flying over, but it's pretty perfect. Also, you probably pick up weather satellites with this too. Any like a satellite ham system, usually this will actually work for everything right. You just need some piece of wire. Actually, I'll lift it up a little bit over there. Very quite good. Just keep it steady like that, not to fall down. Quite good. And also, you can pull this off when you do that. But it's actually an antenna I made. And I saw this on a YouTube channel. At the tone, 22. And you do a weather satellite, but this actually should work for a short way to do it. It's actually starting to come in like, maybe into a different position. Put it like that. It actually does work. And this is like, and even with aluminum, they work fine. Or copper. You usually use this as a scanner. Make sure it doesn't fall down. Yeah, too much power on the But I went out there and did it a while ago, and it does work really good. You can lift this up with a piece of stick, and you'll be fine with this. As long as it's not going to fall down, you're okay. So you hold it steady like that. As long as there's no wind blowing it, yeah, it moves a little bit, but it's picking up 800 miles away. That, that's how far it is, about 500, 300 miles away. Because it's actually a weather station, uh, a time station out of Colorado. Fort Collins, that's the name, WV, and they have some in Hawaii. At the tone, 22 hours, 47 minutes. I just want to give this out there ideas to people. If they want to do an umbrella antenna for shortwave radio, it can actually be done with metal type things. Not bad for like a dollar umbrella at a store. But when I bought one a few months ago, about last year, I painted camouflage paint and cut off the things. Nobody will never know it's an antenna when you carry this. And there's a guy who did um, eight automatic picture transmission. He did all that with uh, a weather satellite and he pointed it up in the air and he picked up weather satellite images when the, when the satellite flew over one of those weather satellites. And that's what he used something like this. He hooked it up with hour gear clips. What I did with mine, the one I made for the one on the roof, on my YouTube channel, I had to use solder, solder iron type uh, solder on the wires here, on this one here, and that, and mostly heat glue sticks, that's all it is. And I duct tape it too with some grill tape and all that stuff, and it works really good. You can also, yeah, what I did, I soldered some cable wires. Your RJ58 cable will work. So you hear that time? It's amazing it works. With an umbrella antenna. Well, that's all the cars going by there. And you can sit this no problem. It looks quite good. I'm going to sit this here in about 20 minutes. At least a few minutes and let it go. Actually, the cars are passing by. I'm going to see if we can pick it up a little bit better. And it's amazing to use this for shortwave radio. It actually will work. And even with a little bit works good. It's pretty amazing with an umbrella antenna. Picking up shortwave radio. And these use bar wire fence too. Bar wire fence is another way if you don't have anything around you. Any bar wire fence will work, yard fence will work fine. 
at the tone, 22 right. hours, 49 here. minutes, coordinated universal time. Let me make sure the guys are hooked, but it's doing really good. I'm going to look it up a little bit, see what, what happens. Now the interference is so good. And when I went to take it out the field, it did really good. But it's perfect. And you can set the zone ball in any tree you want. You can point it out, you can point it horizon. And I'm doing it more like a vertical right now. And you can point it like a reflection disc. You know like how hammers do it, like a reflection And I believe this thing could be transferred to it. Probably interference out here, but it's a power line that you're looking at. Look at that direction right there. There we go. At the tone, 22 hours, 50 minutes. Not bad. Yeah, but if you're in the area that doesn't allow it ground wise, it works fine. But it's doing really good. Better than that little antenna right there. Walking around like I did the other day at the park last week. But it's not bad for an umbrella antenna. On a, great, a gun big um, 200 it is. And I think that, but, see how we need to do some more test results so we can pick out that. This is actually a good way to set up your short wave antenna, and you're pulling the beam on it. But it's pretty perfect. Any umbrella with metal aluminum that has those things on it will work for everything, for anything from scanning, from, from um, SDR type radio software you can use. That works for everything. And the first time I hooked up one of these to a kit correct wire, I was picking up repeaters from Australia on the first day when that happened. About two years ago with these. But this is actually a quick way to set up. Anybody who lives in the HRA area, this will be perfect for a short wave radio antenna. You can point it through a window and you'll get everything you want to have. This is great. And then you get to hear all the radio stations on short waves. So get a better short wave radio, but. I should get another one in a couple of weeks, maybe next week or two, when I'm trying to get one, a bigger one, and we'll see if we can do some more stuff with this. But I have to extend the wire a little bit more. But this will work on any coax type of wire. Mine is RJ58 for okay. So I'm putting this on a YouTube channel. It's called the Umbrella Shortwave Radio Antenna. And also it can be used for other stuff, a weather satellite scanner, it can be used as a hand scanner, it can be used as um, a repeat scanner you can listen to. At the door, 22 hours, 52 minutes. And you can do almost anything with this. I don't know if you can make something out of this out of one of those satcoms. Would it be cool if you could make a satcom out of this? But I want to see what's like a link of it. But it's pretty good size. I'm doing happy about this. It could work anywhere. You could sit along this so nobody would ever go. You could hook some headphones on this. You could sit this in a pocket and do some short wave radio. And it's perfect. This is probably one of the coolest things on short wave at the time. And you, you know, all you do is figure out the time. The time zone you live in, and you subtract the UCC time from that, and you'll be able to figure that out. Like, I live in time zone 7 in Utah, at Ogden, Utah, and, and I'm going to get a call from Ogden, Utah, and I'm going to get a call from Ogden, Utah, and I'm going to get a call from Ogden, Utah, and I'm going to get a call from Ogden, Utah, and I'm going to get a call from Ogden, Utah, and I'm going to get a call from Ogden, Utah, and I'm going to get a call from Ogden, Utah, I'm pretty happy about the results now. It's coming in. And I'm pointing toward Mountain City East. 